Hi, I'm Dorian Ballou. I'm the ceramics instructor at Lake Superior College and I'm going to demonstrate the process of throwing on the wheel today. But uh, when it comes to wheel throwing, the first thing that we need to do with the clay is to mix it and prepare it for the potter's wheel. And so I'm going to give you a wedging demonstration. This is clay that's been mixed together initially, but we need to now wedge the clay. Wedging involves taking your hands together like this and pushing down and rolling and pushing at the same time. This method is oftentimes referred to as the European method. I count the number of rolling motions and generally speaking it's about 75 to 100 pushes on the clay. This method is also referred to as the monkey face method because of the shape of the clay. When we're finished with the wedging technique, we start to lighten up on the hands and we're not pushing very hard now, we're just rolling the clay. And now the clay is ready to be put on the potter's wheel to make our first piece. Now we're ready to introduce throwing and the basics of throwing. I am sitting at a potter's wheel. This is the standard wheel head for the potter's wheel. And then I have what's this disc which we call a bat. And on the back side of the bat there's two holes that fit over these two bolts on the wheel head. We put this on so it's secure. We take our wedged clay and we put that on and we make sure that the wedge clay is secure. Now there's some tools that you'll want to use to help throwing and I've selected some tools that I like to use. You'll want a sponge, wooden modeling tool, wooden rib, needle tool, and a wire. Now there's four steps in throwing a vessel on the wheel and I call it the COPS method. C in COPS is for centering, O is for opening, P is for pulling, and S is for shaping. When, it, uh, when we start with centering, you want to have a good position on the wheel. You want to be sitting on a chair about a little lower than the wheel head. If I drew a line between my knees, it would almost go through the center of the clay. It's nice to have your feet firmly planted on the floor and you have a good, stable position. The first thing we do uh, to start centering is to get water on the clay with our sponge and push down. Notice my elbow on my leg. This elbow on my leg gives me a lot of support The importance in centering and in all the steps is maintaining stability. Both elbows will be on my legs now. And I hold still and I'll pull up, then I'll push down. You use a lot of force to stay still.
the clay is centered. It's completely symmetrical. The second step in throwing is to open. Open, opening involves bringing your thumbs together and pushing your thumbs down. So we make a hole in the clay and then we pull it open. So we have a donut. The third step is to pull the clay. And pulling the clay, we work on the clay at about 4 o'clock. This is 3 o'clock at about 4 o'clock, if we call this a clock. And it involves putting pressure on the inside and pressure on the outside. We squeeze the clay and we slowly lift the clay. I like to compress the lip each time I pull. We slow the wheel down a little bit. And we squeeze again. You'll notice that I'm slowing the wheel speed down. Sometimes we have water on the inside that we need to get out of the form. Now that we've pulled the clay, our next step is to shape the form. And on this form, we'll make a bottle. Shaping is different because in uh, shaping is different than pulling because in pulling we're squeezing the clay and lifting it. In shaping, we're not squeezing. We're just directing the clay. If we want the form to go out, the inside hand will push out and the outside hand will yield to that. If we want to go in, the outside finger will push in and the inside finger will yield to that as we're lifting. 